Well, welcome back from your nice long winter break. I hope that it was wonderful. I hope that you had a great time with your families celebrating whatever holiday that you celebrate. My family celebrates Christmas. We're Christians, and so we had a wonderful time celebrating Christmas and um, being together with our family. Um, and so I hope that you were able to do the same and that you got to eat some good food and get some sleep, read some good books. That's what we did at my house. So I hope that you were able to enjoy those things as well. Now, as we hop back into school, we are gonna be starting um, a really important unit this semester in choir. This is our UIL unit. And I know that you've heard the word UIL probably for a lot of your um, school kind of um, career. And in choir, we have a UIL um, evaluation that we go to, and we're gonna be going to that in March. So I wanted to let you know what that involves. Um, UIL is kind of like our star test in choir. It is a test, it's an evaluation. We get evaluated in two different areas, the two areas that we've been working so hard in all school year, which is sight reading and our concert. So we will get evaluated by a panel of three judges and our sight reading ability, where they're going to give us a brand new piece of music. We are going to sing it for the first time ever in front of a panel of judges, and they're gonna give us what's called a rating. Those ratings go from one as the highest all the way down to a five. So a, a rating of one is considered superior. It means that we sight read that piece of music almost perfectly. Um, a rating of two means that it was excellent. We sight read it really well. We had a few minor mistakes, but overall it was still excellent. Three is average. We made some sizable mistakes, um, but we were still able to get through the piece and then it continues to go downhill from there, okay? So um, the choir department here at Williams, we have a really great tradition of receiving um, superiors at UIL. Last year, all of our groups came away with straight ones from all of their judges, all four of our choirs did. So I think we're gonna do a really good job this year with that as well. So that is how it works for sight reading. Get a brand new piece of music, a panel of judges, um, gives us a rating after we sight read that music. And then we also have a concert portion um, that we are rated on at UIL. And it's the same situation. We have a panel of three judges. They give us a rating on the three different pieces of music that we sing for them. We are required to choose these pieces of music off of um, a prescribed music list. So I don't just get to go out and pick any kind of music that I want. They have a list of songs and I have to choose our music off of that list. Um, I have chosen some really fun music for you guys. Um, I had a lot of fun digging and, and, and finding new music for you guys. So I hope that you enjoy the music that I've chosen. Just remember, this is uh, music that I have to choose off of a list. So it's not gonna be you know pop music or anything that you would necessarily hear on the radio, but it's really high quality choral music. And I always try to find things that I think you will enjoy uh, for us to be working on. So um, the panel of judges that judges our concert portion, they are going to give us a rating as well. And three pieces, two of them can be accompanied. One of them has to be a cappella. A cappella meaning that we sing it without any instrumentation. And that's to show our judges that we are capable of staying in the same key for an entire song without an instrument keeping us in tune. So that's what we're gonna be working on this semester. I, I do wanna let you know that the sight reading difficulty is gonna to start to ramp up. So if any of you are having any frustrations or if you are feeling a little confused and need some extra help with your sight reading, please don't hesitate to, to attend my Zoom meeting that I have once a week. That's exactly what I'm there for. And so I'm there to help you. Just make sure that you click on that link on the day that I have my Zooms, which is on Mondays at 2.05. Now this week, since we didn't have school on Monday, I'm gonna host that Zoom meeting tomorrow on Thursday at 2.05. And you're gonna see that posted in Canvas, that link for, the, for our Zoom meeting tomorrow on Thursday at 2.05. I also want to remind you that it is crucial that you have paper copies of everything that we are doing in choir. You just simply, you can't replace a piece of paper in choir. 
for making notations on, for highlighting, for following along with what we're doing. If you're having to follow along electronically with what we're doing, it's really not gonna be in your best interest to also be following along electronically on a, on a PDF. You really need to be able to have a piece of paper in your hands to be successful in what we're doing. I've posted the PDFs for two out of the three of your UIL unit pieces. They are already posted in this um, Canvas module. I've also posted your sight reading PDF. It's the same packet we've been working out of all school year long, but if you've misplaced it or you, you just can't find it, that's there for you to have as well. So if you already have the sight reading packet, it's not a new one that I've posted in there. It's just in case you've misplaced the one that we've been working out of all school year. Um, so if you don't have a way to print these things at home, then please know that I have copies of all of this stuff waiting for you and sitting for you in the front office. All you have to do is swing by and pick them up, okay? So um, I understand some people don't have printers at home. I totally get it. That's why I go to the extra mile and I, I make copies for you and I leave them in the front office. You can come by at any time during the school day to pick those up from the front office. If you have any questions about anything, please don't hesitate to email me in Canvas, okay? And one last thing, I want to remind you that I give you all week long to get your assignments accomplished. Most of you are doing a fantastic job with this. You are getting everything turned in on time and you're doing a great job with that. Some of you wait until the last minute to get your work done and that's okay as long as it's all in by Sunday night, okay? But remember, your assignment load is identical each week. You have sight reading assignments, you have participation recordings that you have to turn in at the end of each week. Those participation recordings, some of you are skipping over those assignments and not doing them. They are worth 60% of your grade for each week. That's a lot, okay? So please make sure that you are, you are being diligent with getting those turned in. And if you've been following along with the rehearsal recordings each day, those participation recordings they're really simple. And those of you that are doing those participation recordings, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not asking the world of you. I'm asking you to do a little section of the music that we have been diligently working on for the week. So I hope that you will um, make sure that you are getting those recordings accomplished and turned in because they are worth a big chunk of your grade each week. All right, so I can't wait to start our UIL unit with you guys. I hope that you enjoy the music that we're working on, enjoy the challenge of our sight reading. Um, this this unit and um, remember to email me with any questions or meet me on zoom I'll look forward to seeing you on zoom